More than $13 million in aid for Western North Carolina storm victims is still sitting in the bank years after it was approved. That money was intended for victims of Tropical Storm Fred in 2021. Well, now a lot of those people were just hit again by Helene. WRL investigates Randall Kerr is here to tell us about the investigation that will air in full at 6 o'clock tonight. Randall. Yeah, Jeff, this is money that was intended for people specifically in Haywood County. That's about 20 miles west of Asheville. The money was supposed to be distributed to Fred victims by the state agency Rebuild NC. Our team went there and found that while people did get some help from various other programs, especially right after the storm, that $13 million remains almost completely untouched. And that's not giving a lot of hope for people this time around with Helene. of government often move slowly. Are you optimistic you'll get some aid quickly? Um, I mean, kind of. I hope we get something, but, you know, our foot and a half of water is a drop in a bucket compared to what a lot of people out here are dealing with. That $13 million is intended to help people buy new homes. It's also for building new affordable housing. Tonight at 6, we talk with residents there who could really use this money, and they hope the agency can turn the money around more quickly for Helene victims. Jeff? Uh, I couldn't think we can all agree. Three years since the storm hit, it's a long time for that money to be sitting there. Does anybody know what's behind the delay? Well, Rebuild says it's a lot of red tape that they have to develop plans and policies and then get them approved by the federal government, which in some cases we've seen can take more than a year. They also stress that this was intended to be a long-term aid, not just a quick fix. Has any of the money been spent at all? Very, very little. We're talking less than 1% has been spent by the county to help people with some down payments. The county will eventually ask for the state to reimburse them, but that has not happened yet. As for the affordable housing project, Rebuild NC says they've selected a developer. When we were there last week, we drove by that area. No ground broken yet. Hmm. All right, Randall, thanks for that. Sarah Kruger's investigation will air tonight in our 6 o'clock newscast.